Hey, Mellow Nation gang. Which pop, which pop, which pop? Are you know it's your girl, the newbie, the Nova, back with another one. All right, so you already know if you've been rocking with me for a minute, we're gonna get to the channel songs. I do got a pre pull because, like, the cards literally just fell on my lap, and two cards at the bottom of the deck stuck out to me, so I took them. We take this one too because this came out in the last reading. All right. I'm going to take this too. All right. So, yeah, what's up, what's up, what's up? If you are a new subby or you haven't subscribed already, what are you doing? Go ahead and tap those buttons down below. If you're new subby, swing your pin. All right, all right, all right. And yeah, I am the newbie. I am the Nova. This is the Melanation Game, Melanation Channel, where we Melanie and Papa Melanie take it over, period. Okay. And it is 9.40, October 21st on the Kiznak. Okay. So something is ending and going into stability. Something is ending and going into stability. This is going to be a love routine. This is that divine masculine or a woman that is in her masculine energy. Okay. Because of the songs that I did got. Oh, excuse me. That was not a spiritual part. I'm drinking a little bit of Sprite tonight. But if it happens a little bit too much, we already know what's popping. I want that to be on the clock as I said that. I don't believe my swimming take this to the scale. Okay, in the reverb. Alright. Damn, everything. It was like one car. Honestly. Car zooming outside, so that's what I'm doing with that. So y'all already know what's good. So for the songs tonight, the very first song that I got was um Trey Songs, I Don't Want Nobody Else But You. I got Jordan Lucas featuring Ashanti Fall Slowly. I got Jacket Edge, what's it's like, what's this like to be in love? <laughs> Um, I got Maxwell, Fistful of Tears, NSYNC, Gone, and Yo Gotti, Respect That You Earn. All right, so let's get into it, because I'm anxious to see. I, um, I tried to wait later on tonight, because I wasn't going to do this reading like earlier, but I was like, some told me I was going to get some more messages, which I did. And it was just a couple more songs and confirmation from some other shit. Oop. God grants the certainty of the things that we cannot change, the courage to change the things that we can, and the wisdom to know the difference. I said, God grants the certainty of the things that we cannot change, the courage to change the things that we can, and the wisdom to know the difference. Anybody sending any evil eye towards me and my collective, please return that shit back to sender with the intent of knowledge so that they can stop doing that shit. I said, anybody sending any evil eye towards me and my collective with intent, I mean, <laughs> please return that shit back to sender with intent of knowledge so that they can stop doing that shit. Anybody mocking us? Please return our energy back to us tenfold as well. All right, all right, all right. Ashe, Ashe, Ashe. Ice up in your Some of y'all favorite drinking some Sprite or something. Or drinking like clear liquids or something. I don't know. Take it however it is. Oh, I just seen something. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It wasn't no pop, but it popped. <laughs> and then I'm looking at the color of the ice and then the color of the liquid. Like, this. Get it, you get it. All right. I'm here. Oh, touch me. Oh, ludicrous. Say love to me. Okay. Nah. <laughs> Let's stay on motherfucking focus. All right, y'all. I know my ADHD having an ass. I'll be over here forever I'm trying to get this message out. But yeah, we're going to start off with the Trey song, Nobody Else But You. So in that video, he was at a wedding. And it was like he hasn't seen the girl he's been dealing with for a minute. But like, because he's been out here just doing him. Well, she like, I'm going to let you go do you. So when the song come on, she like, what's up, what's up with me and you? Hey, she's like, what we, what we finna do? Okay, she said, lately I've been giving you some room. 
All right. She said, I just, um, because lately I just ain't been knowing what to do. I don't want nobody else but you. I know you done ran away from me. <laughs> they say you should stay away from me. She said, um, I know you the only thing for me. Um, pray for me. Gratefully, you love me too. Real one, I guess I'm just a fool with a staring in the mirror like, ain't you scared to lose her? <laughs> Why you acting like another man wouldn't? What? Okay, so it's like two people don't want nobody but each other, but it's like one person playing a waiting game and one person out here being a player. Like, that is never going to work. And then, so the next song was the um, Joyner Lucas featuring Shanti to fall slowly. And in that video, it's like a love-hate, bittersweet type of relationship. And then he was like, because he's like, because when we're good, it's really good. But when we're bad, it's um, really off. Or whatever. And the course to that goes, he says, I love you more than I love myself. If you weren't with me, then I can't picture you with someone else. Find every time. Uh, he said, and every time we separate, it's like we're under spells because we always come back to help each other heal. You say I'm crazy, but at least you know the, my love is real. But shit, you're crazy too. But that's why they say love is hell and it's forever. So I hope that you don't ever up and bail because if you ever left me for someone else you'll get somebody Ooh, off this mother okay. like that boy was not playing so it's like and then in that video she finds out that she's like finally pregnant like after so many years of being with this person and you finally like want to leave or getting the courage to leave it's like something happens to keep y'all stuck together so like whatever this is it's faded or like at the last minute when you're tired of waiting like this person will come in with a, a big offer or it's going to be some type of grandiose like thing that's going to make y'all stay stuck together. Take it however it resonate, whether it's baby, money, career, just like a, um, if it's not even like, even when I even say money, it could be like business is tied up, house is tied up, just finance is tied up, or something like that. Take it how it resonate. Like I said, this baby. Um, so, yeah. Then I got the jacket. It's what it's like to be in love. It's harder than what you're thinking of. And I was just wondering, will God ever know me? Because my heart is open and I've been hoping. Um, What's it like to be in love? What everybody's talking about. Like, you seen everybody else walking around in love. They talking about love, this, this, and that. But it's like you probably could never seen it, never been in it. So, you like, what the fuck is that shit like? Like... <laughs> And I was watching Practical Magic too earlier, and it was funny because in that movie, it's one of my favorite movies. One one of the kids was like, "I can't wait to fall in love," and the other one was like, "I don't ever want to fall in love," which was Sandra Bullock, little girl. And then when she had her little girls, they said the same thing. But it was funny because it's your tent behind anything that makes magic really work. Right. So the redhead, which is I think it was Nicole Kidman, she's basically manifesting like. She can't wait to be in love, so, like, she's rushing it in, and she's not really putting no thought, no nothing into it. And that's why I tell you about manifesting things, and y'all really don't put the fine print and thought into shit. You just gonna get whatever. you Like, you know what I'm saying? It's gonna come what you want it, but it's gonna come with some extra shit, too, because you didn't put the fine print on it. Okay, where it said, well, she went and actually wrote the shit down and grabbed the herbs together and did the correct measurements of what she wanted you know what i'm saying so when she did when when love came in she thought she because she was basically trying to protect herself because she made up a person that was not real not knowing later on in life she was gonna find him all right so pretty much and the redhead called him in she basically like she manifested all these friends, all of these love, all like this, whatever type of lifestyle, like whatever she wanted. Like, but she was the one who didn't have the magic, but she knew how to manifest because she comes from the bloodline. You feel me? So, and she's doing love spells on the guy, and the guy ended up turning crazy. They don't have to off him like three times in the movie. <laughs> Because then they do a spell to bring him back. She's like, I don't care. I just want to work. I just want to work. And they telling him, like, don't do it. Don't do it. So it's like a love spell backfiring. So I feel like 
somebody might have been doing something knowingly or unknowingly and a love spell has backfired or wore off. Whether this is either you or your person was doing this to each other or an outside person was doing this on your relationship. So take it however it resonates. All right? Because in that movie, like, basically, she had to help her sister with the spell. And then at the end, they had to get the whole town of ladies who were talking shit about their bloodline for centuries to come help them. And, like, they basically broke the whole curse over, like, centuries and centuries, centuries, centuries. But back to the channel messages. All right. Next song after that would be Maxwell, Fist Full of Tears. He's like, sometimes I cry. Hey, save me your fist full of tears. Hey. <laughs> Like, I might fucking know what they did to fuck up with you. Okay. Or they just know, like, for certain ages, like, certain shit is uncalled for. So it's like, why are you acting like that? So this person, this man, whoever is in their feelings with this fistful of tears. The song after that is NSYNC Gone. Baby girl, you're gone. Okay. And there's a million things that I could say that wouldn't make you come home. It wasn't something I said to make you turn away, make you talk, um, walk out and leave me cold. You're saying that you would love me too. Please say you do. Uh, uh. Okay. And I'm hearing, um, cry me a river. Cry, cry, cry me a river. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh. <laughs> so I guess I'll be leaving. Oh, oh. Yeah, somebody leaving. Somebody got to. Yeah, I'm hearing the rap part. Yeah, go listen to um some Justin Timberlake is in sync. And last but not least, because we are like 12 minutes in, I'm sorry, y'all. It's a yo Gotti respect that you earn. He was like, it's a man's um job to show a woman respect, but I feel like it's a woman's job to give a man something to respect. Now, I ain't wrong for saying that, is it? He's like, you want me to buy you a bag, but is you worth it? <laughs> no, I ain't perfect. Um, he was like, do you post on Instagram something? She's like, you don't know me. You don't pay my bills. You don't know my hustle. He's like, that shit real, but it is what it is. He was like, but I know one thing, Shetty. He's like, he was like that worth. He said that bag worth 10 grand, Shetty. You can't pay your bills. You want them. Like somebody might be looking at you like you super high maintenance feminine. But, um. It's like, where's your head at with other stuff? But it's like, if you are out here doing that, you like, and you still able to sustain yourself every time this person sees you put together, why the fuck is they worried about it? And if they that worried about it, then instead of talking shit, help you. You feel me? All right. So the cards that had fell out was parts of heart conversations. Honestly, discuss your feelings with each other. And it says healing family issues in reverse. So this ain't got nothing to do with got family or outside people because the, the genuine funky coming up too. Like, it ain't none of your friends' business. It ain't none of your friends' business. I don't care what my friends say. What your friends say. So it's about like a private conversation is going to be getting took. Okay. And then we have the, uh, it's safe for you to love. Somebody is still guarded. So until this conversation is being had, somebody is keeping their guard up. Somebody's keeping their nose up in the air. Somebody's keeping their space. But yeah, she was like, she said, what's up, what's up with me and you? <laughs> ooh, ooh, ooh. Lately, I've been giving you some room. Ooh, oh, oh. She was like, I don't want nobody else but you. Okay. So just because somebody gives somebody some room doesn't mean they out here doing nothing necessarily. But that doesn't mean that your person not out here doing nothing. And so it's like the more and more your person disrespects you, feminine, you like, 
It's like one of them things like if a person could, they would. They would have. You know what I'm saying? So you give a so instead of like telling a person what to do and how to do it, you giving a person the opportunity to just do whatever. So it's like you observing, like, okay. So if I gave you the opportunity, that's what you would do with it. Okay. Stand on it. Stand on it. Affirmation, stand on it. And then we got unconditional love, PB and J. Like y'all go together by PB and J. And then it says, I don't know why I'm here taking one for the team. So somebody could be like got caught up in a third party situation, take one for the team, or take one for the team like trying to show boat or something like that. Because this is like um my sexual energy card. So it's something about they took one for the team and ended up looking dumb. Take it how it resonates. Hold on one second, y'all. Is this it? Okay, y'all, my bad. It's something about like drinking cold pop. I don't know. It's like it makes my nose cold and then it makes it feel like my nose is running and then it don't even be running. But it's like the oddest thing I could have explain. But yeah. So yeah. Somebody took one for the team and looking fucking dumb. Mm-mm-mm. Not going hard enough. Don't let yourself down. Somebody felt like don't let yourself down. So somebody not going hard enough. Somebody feel like they can't please you or like you done turned them down and they don't have the opportunity to please you no more. Like, cause it's like, it's like you going all hard for these females, but you're not even going that hard for me. So how you going well, well, well that hard for a bitch you don't even know, like type shit. You know what I mean? Oh, that's why. Cause they a sugar daddy. They got trick energy. Hmm. That makes sense. <laughs> that makes a lot of fun. Yo, it's so crazy because I just had a conversation about this with somebody the other fucking day. Oh Lord, have mercy. Smell good. Let me hit that. I just want to smoke. Uh, I'm here. Either we smoking or we drinking or we at each other's throats. Either we smoking or we drinking or we at each other's throats. Yeah, it says smell good. Let me hit that fire. Smoking on that fire, smoking on that fire, smoking on that drove, cause she get me higher, <laughs> and it is all get me on. Um, it smell good, let me hit that. Yeah. Drake and PB and Rock, more sex, the stress is all a nigga need in a um, life full of stress, trying to put my mind at ease. He was like, I ain't been answering my phone, don't know what the fuck been going on, so, why we got this moment alone, girl? We should just get drunk and uh, hey, drunk and uh, hey, drunk and uh, yeah. Either we smoking or we drinking or we at each other's throat. Let's go, Myla J. It's something like yeah. Maybe it's had something to do with oral sex. By somebody step out. It says only if you do it first. It says horrible. So like you could be used to being in relationships or something where you don't even have to ask or it's like a lot of 69 going on and whatever the situation is with somebody else, it's like either their oral is horrible or it's always a fight to get this out of this person. Take it how it resonates. Maybe that's all that man want. He probably like, shit, like sometimes I just want you to just whatever. Or that woman, like, I just want you to whatever. And it's like, they don't want to do it. So it's like, okay, what one man or woman won't do, another one will. Like, period. No self control. Yeah. Single and ready to experience. Fuck you, like fresh out of prison. <laughs> what song was I listening to earlier? Too, he was like, "I'm gonna hit it like I'm out of jail." He was like, "I'm gonna hit that thing like I just got out of jail." What song was that? And I'm gonna hit it like I just like I'm fresh out. Yeah, he's like, "I'm gonna hit it like I'm fresh out." I'm gonna put it in. I'm having. But yeah, it says no self control. It says undressing you. 
with my eyes, no self control. So whoever this is, they are like madly, madly, madly in love with him. Divine feminine. Okay. Or this or this woman is like, whew, like they they probably like they gotta fight they self for this because it's like you so damn fine. It's like shit, I know motherfuckers want you and shit like that, but they don't mean you gotta disrespect me just because you fine, like you be fine and just had like the ugliest traits about yourself. So it says single and ready to experience. So you're like, I'm sitting here waiting on this person. But whatever, like the waiting game is over. So you single and ready to experience. Take it how it resonates. It says hook you like fresh out of prison. Jailbird yick wet wet. <laughs> wet, I need some sex. Yeah, yeah. Give me that back. Yeah, yeah. You get me? Yeah, I want that back. Yeah, girl. Give me that. Girl, he was like, I'm a double R, just like my star. Mm, 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 mm. Just like your brother, take off your top. <laughs> girl, where you want me to nut it? Yeah, girl, where you want me to nut it? Hey. Yeah. Somebody could either be just getting out of prison or, like I said, like y'all been separated for so long that when they put it on you, they're going to put it on you like they been locked down for a minute. I ain't take it how it resonates. Woo, hand job, play with it. So they like, at least if you ain't gonna suck it or can't suck it, can you at least play with it? <laughs> Meet me at the crib. Come over to my place. Come chill with a nigga. Hey, I know we both going at the liquor. <laughs> but you should come chill with a nigga. Uh, uh, uh. Please excuse my hands. Yeah, that song came on earlier too. They just want to rub. They just want to touch. They don't mean no harm. Baby, just excuse my hands. Threesome. Threesomes, you into that? It says no, but special occasions. Okay, so again, this person is out there. That Trace Lungs, he was like, I, he's like, I only want you, but the hoes keep calling. <laughs> I don't know nobody else but you. Ooh, ah, ah. Yo. And you, like, the feminine energy probably, like, no, I'm not into that. And if you're my man, like, why would I want, like, you know what I'm saying? But, like, on occasion, maybe, but it's like, damn, can we get a bond first? Can we, like, figure, like, the fuck? You, like, but that's that sugar daddy vibes. That's that trick energy. That's that non committal energy. That's that player energy. I bet you. Especially Knight of Wands or King of Wands will come out. Who is this masculine? Or Emperor Reverse, watch. Who is this masculine? Here, can you tell me who this masculine is? He got money. <laughs> Definitely a sugar daddy. Definitely a sugar daddy. But he don't fill cups properly. It's half-ass offers on the table. Empty offers on the table. Very narcissistic energy. Eight of Pentacles in reverse. Like, this person doesn't put all their hard work and dedication into one thing. They're all over the place. And they not moving in the world right. You might look at this person like they were. I'm like, I'm here. I love my Mr. Room. Like, you, like, this person probably your world on paper, but when it comes to the physical, like, this person is moving fucking crazy. Like I said, in practical magic. Like, she was so in love with that, that Jimmy boy, but it's like he was no good for her. And then he tried to off her. So they had to off him. Before he could off her a couple times and came back in the spirit realm, still trying to take her. You feel me? What else do we need to know about this masculine energy pertaining to this reading? King of Wands in reverse. He don't want to be a player no more. Like I see, I told you this bitch was gonna come out, y'all. 24, 24 on the clock. I told you it was gonna come out. But it's in reverse. They don't want nobody else but you. They might have a sexual addiction or something. They can't help it. I'm here from the fire we make. It's getting higher and higher. Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. From the fire we make. I can't stay away. Oh. And I'm hearing, I will keep 
your secrets are one. Your secrets are safe with me, safe with me. I will keep <laughs> your secrets. Yeah, he don't want to be a player no more. Found someone he can spend his life on. He's like, I'm yours, you're mine for sure. No more um late nights at the bar. No more, no more doing the things I used to. Joe, because you need a real man who holds you down. And I'm also hearing Jaheem. Um, I'm not wilding out like I used to. I'm not doing the things I used to no more. Hey, I've changed for you. I don't do the things that I used to do no more. Everything about you, why is or no more lies, no more games. Everything I mean, I say, hey, and all the love you give me, baby, it means so much to me. So don't take it love away. I need you. I'm yours forever. Make me believe me. Cause I'm done for whatever. And I, yeah. So even like if y'all in separation, you think this person wilding out because they're going to get attention while they out. They're not rude. They could probably, it might look like that's what they're doing or could still be doing. But for some, a percent, I'm not going to say all, but for a small percent, they not really doing nothing. It's just conversation, politeness. When behind closed doors, they're not sleeping with nobody. If they is sleeping with somebody, it's somebody that they was probably already sleeping with before, so they're not adding more to it. Now, the other half, majority percentage of y'all niggas out here wilding. I ain't going to hold you up. But it's a percent of y'all, feminines and masculines, that is celibate. Because y'all don't want to buy with y'all person, but y'all letting y'all person have that time to figure out what it is they want to do. But it's like, shot clock. <laughs> okay, LMA, shot clock. And I'm hearing LMA, um, I just got a good feeling. Yeah, gut feeling, LMA, gut feeling. How is this how is this King of Wands energy planning to change? They don't want nobody else but you. 2744 on the clock. They done took the time to think about it and weigh it out and outweigh the good, the bad, the ugly. They see you as a queen of pentacles. They know you stable with or without them. Period. Unconditional love, PB and J. Y'all go together like PB and J. And I'm here. I got the magic stick. Knowing I can hit once, I can hit twice. I got the bad bitch. Shorty, don't believe me. Come eat tonight and I'll show you magic. What? What? Magic. Yeah. The night of swords in reverse. This person don't want to argue. They don't want to fuss. They don't want to fight. And I'm hearing the, the joiner. He said, I love you more than I love myself. If you weren't with me, then I can't picture you with someone else. And if every time we separate, it's like we're under spells because we always come back to help each other heal. You say I'm crazy, but at least you know the love is real. But shit, you're crazy too. And that's why they say love is hell. And if and it's forever, so I hope that you don't up and bail because if you ever left me, someone might get... I see that sword. He said, I ain't come to argue, but I'm, I'll fight. I'll fuck some shit up. <laughs> I'll fuck some shit up about mine. Woo, wee, baby. How is this feminine feeling at the moment? Freak meter on a thousand. <laughs> Great minds think alike. So y'all could be like sending each other um, sexual messages telepathically. <laughs> or this feminine is like because she's celibate or something that could be pleasuring herself to you or sending like I said sending you sexual energy or something however justice this feminine just wants her justice she just wants her justice that's how this feminine is feeling what else does this feminine want 
Six of Wands in reverse. She don't want all the fans around. She don't want all the friends and fans and all that weird ass shit. Like, if you want to come, you're going to have to come correct. You can't come with the groupies. You can't come with the swingers. You can't come with the player energy. Okay? You can't come with the audience. You want to treat me like this in public and behind closed doors is this. Like, no. You're not playing no roles. You ain't You ain't with the actress shit. You ain't on that trophy wife shit. It's like, I'm going to be your wife or your girl, but ain't going to be like you're treating me like an object. Ain't no, um, I'm seeing, ain't no sojourner truth. You ain't about to put me on a platform for people just to be gawking and looking. Like, mm -mm. four cups in reverse. Yeah, you really don't want to turn on this offer, but I'm here. Shot clock again. Shot clock. You got 24 seconds. You got 24 seconds. I'm here in the box. I only got four minutes. Do what I gotta do to get to you and show you that I'm a change man. Cause in four minutes, I never have my girl again. In four minutes, I'ma lose her to some other man. Four, mm 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 who are these people walking around and scratching up my floors? Some of y'all could live together and be moving out. Why this person ain't there, they're going to pull up to you moving out. Or if y'all don't live together, they know where you live at. It could be like, because see is like verbatim you um, moving out. Because I'm hearing Tyrese, he was like, um, how you going to act like that? We just finished making the... How you gonna act? Can somebody tell me why? Oh, why? I just want it to you. Mm -mm -mm. You don't wanna get hit. You the one. You the one who's having sin. You don't wanna make me cry. You to be the one I can't deny. Yeah, you be the one they can't deny, baby. And I'm here, a sweet lady. Would you be my sweet lover for a lifetime? I'll be there when you need me. And just call in. Reese. Ain't no thinking about this, whether it's the feminine or male. I'm seeing love and basketball. My sweet lady. You know how I love basketball? They like each other since kids, seeing each other date other people. But no matter what, like, they still was, like, these. And at the end, like, they ended up being together. Like, it's something crazy like that. Even if y'all didn't know each other for that long, it's, like, whatever this is, y'all chemistry so strong. It's, like, yeah, you gonna check a motherfucker about your respect and respecting you, but it's, like, like, you just, like, I can't even say this part can't even do no wrong in your eyes. I just like the chemistry is so magnetically there. It's like I I'd rather deal with your shit than somebody else's shit. Or somebody else was to do it. It's not the same. Like when you do it, like type shit. What else does this feminine want to say to this masculine or feel about the situation? What else does this feminine want to say to this masculine or feel about the situation? Yeah. This is a burden for them. And they, they done with the sleepless nights. This was a burden for this feminine. And they are tired of the sleepless nights. Like, they hanging that shit up. There's nothing else to think about. I'm hearing either you do or you don't. I'm hearing either you do or you don't. Yeah, the world car lovers. Me, you, and Hennessy, look what you did to me. My head keep on spinning. <laughs> my head keep on spinning. That's what I'm hearing. I'm out of my mind. But whatever this is, is going to end in stability. You're going to be able to finally rest. Yeah. Use your heart and not your eyes. Use your heart and not your eyes. Baby, just relax your mind. Yeah. Or like, once y'all come back together, like he said, he was like, and when we're separated, I feel like I'm, we're under spills because every time he's like, we come back to help each other heal. Like, 
And I'm hearing that Drake song when he was talking about Noel, talking about some um they used to be sleeping on the basement floor together. Um can he he what's it called? Yeah, that come through. Come through, come through. You know we got things to do. Girl, you know we got things to do. So hop your ass in the car and come through. Cause you know you got the thing that I like. Hey, cause you know you got the thing that I like. 35, 25 was just on my clock. Cause you know you got the thing. No, you got the thing. Hey. <laughs> no, for real though. Oh God. So yeah, somebody's in player energy, feminine or whoever is tired. However, this is a divine connection. So no matter who try to come in, it's like whatever. But for a small group of y'all, it's some bullshit going on. Somebody's in like really sugar daddy energy. They have a sexual addiction that needs to be checked. Like, really sat down and talked about, like, so you could, like, you might really have to tell your person, like, I feel like this is going on with you, and I love you enough to let you go to go handle and deal with you and go handle, but if it's not going to be handled, not dealt with, you're going to keep doing it. I can't fuck with you like that. I have to really just be your friend. Like, I love you to death, but I have to just be your friend or not fuck with you at all. Because I'm seeing that on TikTok when What's the Call was on there, the real pretty, pretty lady that be um giving like little messages out. And she was like, yeah. She said, I had to cut that man off. She was like, because I, I told him the last time I talked to him that that was going to be the last time he disrespected me. And she was like, and he got that shit I like too. She was like, I still like it. She said, but I got to stand on what I said. You know what I'm saying? Some of y'all really feel like that. Like... You done gave this person the ball so many times and they fumbled the ball or ball hogged the ball. So it's like, shit, I don't want to play no more. You ain't playing fair. Ain't no I in team. Ain't no I in team. What else is going on with the situation? <laughs> Knight of Wands. Didn't I say the King of Wands? Didn't I say the Knight of Wands, the King of Wands is going to come out in this reading? King of Wands in reverse. Okay, already came out. Knight of Wands in reverse. This person don't want to be out here just slanging yicks to everybody. But they have an addiction. They have to get over this addiction. They want the stability with you. I don't want nobody else but you. Falling on the Justice card. And that Knight of um, Wands fell on top of the Knight of the, <laughs> the King of Wands. I can't even get the shit out. And then they thinking of something to come in to give you. Like I said, now one reading, they done did so much good and bad that they got to outdo and outshine the good and bad they already did. Period. Well, with that being said, That's all, folks. <laughs> that is all, folks. Yeah, if y'all want like a extender or something to this, drop some comments down below. I don't think I need to do an extended because it's like pretty much self-explanatory. Um, I haven't really been doing personals yet. I, um, but if y'all want to do personals, drop some like um little envelope messages down in the comments so i can see and try to um set something up for y'all how i see what platform and stuff i want to do it on what email and stuff i want to use and stuff like that so it's about to be winter time so we can like be a little bit more intimate and do some things but y'all already know what it is it's my nation my game on and pop on and take it over periods all right with the newbie the nova all right my kings, my queens, my loves, my babies, gracias, and ciao. See you in the next one.